All right, today you're gonna do this video on this uh, Swinger 205A uh, 26LQ6 um, by linear. By means just it has a preamp in it, amplifier. Um, picked this up on eBay recently, and uh, always wanted to see what the Swinger did and how that worked and and all that. And um, so I got this uh, Swinger 205A. And with the cover off, little amp porn looking up on the inside with the dress off. Um, all it needed was new caps, so we put some new caps in um, over here on the power supply. And the tubes were, uh, one of them was bad and they were mitch matched. And on a lot of these amps, they use the filaments uh, in series. They run 12 volts out of the filament transformer and they put. Um, the two tubes are wired in series so each tube would draw six volts but when you have Mitch Max tubes like these you know a little bit different sizes and they draw a little bit different or a whole lot different in this case one was lighting up real strong and the other one was lighting up weak uh, even before you got to the output of the tubes that uh, uh, the filaments weren't weren't lighting equally on the tube so but it uh, had bad tubes in it anyway I think one of them was marked 65 I don't see it now there it is that one was marked 65 percent so we put a couple of hundred percent almost look like new tubes GE's in there 6JE 6C's um, 6LQ6 um, put them in there and uh, it was one resistor back here that somebody had put in um, um, it was a 380 ohm that went to one tube and then the other one they had 150 ohm and I'm like what what that doesn't make any sense and um, come to find out it was supposed to be a 380 on both the tubes so we replaced that and then away she went so we're gonna turn her on I think everything is clear and good One thing we did find strange, and we don't even think that that's correct, but it is what it is, and I'm not going to play with it anymore, is the preamp works during standby, but it doesn't work uh, when you have it on operate on either AM or SSB, I thought was weird. But other than that, everything is doing what it's supposed to do with this amp. Um, just have one um, tune, doesn't have a load and you got the swinger on and off and over here you got off standby AM SSB and you got a meter not lighted that uh, switch that LED there lights when you turn the preamp on so it ought to be warmed up I guess first we'll show what the radio is doing so we'll put it on standby and we're going out the radio into the little uh, digital watt meter into the amp into the big MFJ watt meter calibrated for a bird or like a bird and uh, then we got a big giant dummy load uh, up top so on standby it's going to 20 watt scale so we're putting three watts into it audio audio talking to five whistling to seven and it's peak audio 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 13 watts peak and the little digital watt meter shows close to the same dead key in three and a half input at well the SWR is 1.0 so this amp being in line it's not messing up your input SWR it does not have a uh, tunable input SWR it is fixed but it does have a, uh, a a coil and a fixed cap for the input SWR it's just not adjustable or variable so we got it on AM and let's go to the 200 watt scale here and let's put it on average first and we got the swinger off so this is going to be the um, high power to high dead key So we did can we're on a 200 watt scale, did can 55 audio, 
audio audio talking about 80 listen about 110 again that's on uh, average and over here on peak audio 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 160 peak and then we're going to turn the swinger on we'll still leave it on peak so now we did can 30 instead of the uh, 60 was it audio audio and we're talking a 110 peak audio that's with the swinger and we're going to show the swinger on average audio audio that's bird watch mind you so it's swinging um from 30 uh hello talking about 60 65 whistling to about 80 hello 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 and at 1.4 is the input SWR with the amp on so still pretty good little amp does what it's supposed to do little swinger uh, 105 make a decent little driver um, I may keep this and uh, use it for a driver for another one I don't know but we still like our black hats though audio well anyway that's it for this one this swinger 205 um, I think the same company that made this made the Firebirds, the um, Interceptors, Chemtron. You know, if it wasn't the same company, they use look like they used the same board, same design. You know, very sim similar. So that's my thoughts on this one and the Swinger 205A amp. Bye.